a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show. Thank you for spending some time with us here. And we greatly appreciate you supporting our show partners, the local economy, by supporting the Consumer Quarterback Show, powered by the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty. Our real estate team is up 60% year over year. Real excited about that. A lot of growth around the team, uh, bringing on some great agents on the team. Uh, 10 years on air now. Uh, real excited about the radio, TV show, and all of the strategies and you know what really makes my day is when we get to talk to our audience talk to our listeners and viewers of our youtube channel and rumble channel it really makes our day because that really uh, comes together it's the culmination of the information that we're giving in uh, giving out and the uh, strategies that we employ and i'll tell you we got one of our best today mark hay uh, 21st century financial group you talk about money market strategies uh, investing strategies mark's got some good ones coming up here on the program later on we're talking with patrick Fro- Step by stage interiors uh, with Patrick Furlow uh, on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Uh, a couple of hot listings here. We always feature our real estate properties, part of our strategy to help sellers sell faster for more money, maximizing the exposure and the profit. Uh, this property at 6441 Fourth Palm Point in St. Pete Beach. This is a gorgeous property. You talk about that tropical oasis. You got the palm trees, you got the infinity pool looking view there, the water views, three bedrooms, two bath, 2280 square feet feet boca siega bay and bring your boat bring your jet skis enjoy that florida lifestyle you're driving over maybe on your golf cart over to the beach i uh, have a spacious kitchen for entertaining uh barrel tile roof uh, that's replaced so those tile roofs last forever uh you got excellent excellent opportunity to to be close to the uh, the beaches trade islands resort of course the dances are down there for dinner 64 41 fourth palm point st pete beach Beautiful property, beautiful area. I love this listing. This is one of my favorite listings right now. Uh, We also have a $3 million commercial property listing at 2907 North Florida Avenue. North Florida Avenue in Tampa. This is a commercial property, 12,000 square feet, two buildings, lots of parking. You're at a corner lot location close to downtown Tampa, 2907 North Florida Avenue in Tampa, 72, 73 heated square footage. Uh, You have a wide open area where you can have a retail shop. By the way, it it used to be a uh, fishing store type retail. Tailor with the clothing and all of the different equipment, uh, fishing supply. The smaller building has been rented out currently as well. So you have passive income, about $6,500 a month coming in. Passive income, great investment. 2907 North Florida Avenue in Tampa, one of our commercial listings. You can see all of our real estate listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. Hey, I'm racing my class to those that's right, PlatinumCoastalElite.com for all of your real estate needs. Quick shout out to Brio Tuscan Grill, the Tampa restaurant partner, Brio Tuscan Grill International Plaza Mall. This Thursday, we're going to be there for our networking group party as well. So hopefully you can make it. Come on out and meet up with some of our partners. Uh, Six o'clock, Brio Tuscan Grill International Plaza. Uh, come out there and hang out with us and have some of the chef-inspired uh, appetizers. They have a great happy hour. Yeah, we're going to be there at 2223 North West Shore Boulevard, Tampa, Thursday. Thursday night, January 18th, 6 o'clock, be there, meet the team, meet our radio show partners, meet some of our realtors, and you never know who you're going to meet there. So we're going to put you in touch and uh, plug you into our network if you'd like to. Mark, hey, welcome back, sir. Thank you so much. How about the Buccaneers? Hey, man. First round. I love it. We'll see. We'll go to Detroit now, so I'm excited about it. I like that momentum. You know, they came out with that moxie yesterday. Yeah. You know, other than a couple drops, uh, Mike Evans had another drop right there. I know. I thought they did. We had a couple drops, tight ends, I think, dropped some, but Anyways, yeah. yeah, I'm glad we won. I Philly struggled the last, you know, five or six games, so we'll yeah. take advantage of it. Going to Detroit, yeah, you know? it, and you know what? It was interesting because it was 11 wins, 11 losses, yeah. uh, to Philly. I guess that's the all-time playoff. But now, yeah, now we're as long as we one. don't go to Philly playing in negative temperature, we, we do pretty well. That's pretty tough. You know up what I mean? There. So now we go to the dome. So I'm not really worried, but the Lions are good. You get hit with Lions those snowballs up there. Too. Oh man, you see that Kansas City game, like negative 30 or whatever it was. Crazy it's nuts. Yeah. So, anyways, well, happy New Year to you too as well. Yeah, man. Likewise, yeah. First time we've seen each other in a while here, but uh, yeah, Mark. So we like bringing you on, man. You talk a lot about money. Uh, money is such an important topic, and I think it comes with these preconceived notions and some, you know, you have an abundance mentality versus a scarcity mentality. Uh, what yeah. did you want to discuss and so, today? you know, because it's a new year, and then people always want to try to do new things or, or, or accomplish new things in a new year. So my my whole thing was um, 
the first memory of money. Right. You know, what's the first memory of money to you or I? And it's not in my personal experience when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have a lot, you know, so my first memory of money was, you know, save it, you know, yeah. sacrifice, scarcity, um, rainy day money, uh, uh, someday, you know, we'll, we'll be able to do that vacation. You know, we didn't take any vacation when I was a kid. We just didn't have any money, and, and, and that was the mindset, right. you know. And if you really think about it, it shapes your whole life. Right. You know, because today where I am at when it comes to money is a lot different than I was 5, 10, 20 years ago. Right. Because in my 20s or even early 30s, you know, I was going to outwork everybody. I was going to outsave everybody, and I'm going to have more money down the road than anybody. And, 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 that's what I was going to do, you know, yep. because I was taught that, you know, scarcity, live within your means, budget, scrimp, save, wait 30 or 40 years. And then you can go and live your life and you're going to have this bucket of money. And, and, and now I hear I am today thinking that don't work. Mm. You know, 95% of people that are 65 and older can't retire or can't live off of the investments or the income that they had. They have to continue working. So it's a 5% chance of success rate with that mindset. Mm -hmm. And so for the new year, you know, I really want people to understand or think about, you know, liquidity, enjoying the money, you know, cash flow, because the problem is when you scrimp, save, sacrifice, put money into a 401k plan or an IRA plan, you never learn how to cash flow with your assets. You have a job that pays the bills and, 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 and you have your lifestyle with that. But when that income ends, you now have to have some cash flow from your investments, and let's just use a 401k because that's what majority of people do. If you never managed that and you never had an idea how to do that, you're not going to all of a sudden wake up at 65, 70 years old and understand how to manage cash flow. Right. You know what I mean? Sure. At the same time, you're not going to break a habit. You know, I've broken my habits, you know what I mean? Because it took me a while to do it. But, you know, I had help from Melissa, who, who's, who's helped me, you know, uh, obviously expand my means and understand it. But, you know, if you scrimp, save, sacrifice your whole life and you go into retirement and you have no more income, but you're going to live off this pocket of money, you're not all of a sudden going to stop scrimp, saving and sacrificing and you're never really going to enjoy that money. And so my biggest thing is cash flow. Develop the cash flow today so that you can work because you want to or I want to uh, do a, a, a business or I want to go and do something I enjoy because I have passive income from my investments or I have passive income from real estate. You know, you do a lot of real estate, obviously, with being a, being a real estate agent. But, you know, you can develop a lot of income just from real estate and having that uh, Airbnbs and rentals. And there's so much you can do other than Wall Street, you yeah. know. And so I just want people the new year to start thinking about, think it differently. Enjoy your money. Expand your means. Have positive cash flow. Don't lock your money up 20, 30 years where you can't have access to that without a penalty and taxes. And develop the lifestyle you want today and retire the notion of retirement. I say it all the time. Retire yeah. from what? I mean, right. you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago, people worked in factories and, and it was hard on the body. And, like, you know, you couldn't do that forever and you needed to retire. But here we are today and, and inform informational, you know, technology has just changed and everything. Services. Right. And, and services. So and there's so many ways to make money. And so just retire the notion of retirement. Do something you love. Build a life that you want to live and do it today. Don't wait till tomorrow, 30 years from now to enjoy that money that you're never going to be able to enjoy because what if you don't make it? Yeah. You know, what if your significant other doesn't make it? I've in the last four or five years, I have dealt with so much disabilities and death and yep. I don't know it's what has changed. You know, yep. I have my theories, yep. but I've dealt with so much, not just me personally I'm talking about clients yep. and, 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 and the people that we work with, but it's been a lot happening. And it really so has. it has it's and compounding. Yeah. And so when you when you look at it and these people that are passing or become disabled and they pass, we're going to say with all this money and they never got to enjoy it. Right. And I'll give you an example. If we got time, you know, I had a, cl a client, they were grandparents and then they have kids and they have grandkids and they're all three of my clients. OK, so I have three generations. Well, when the grandparents passed, they didn't really spend a lot. You know, they invested it. They had it with me and then they passed it down to their kids. Well, they had a quarter million dollars of cash in their attic that the kid, you know, my clients found after wow. their passing. Okay. Well, they stocked that money away because they're a great depression people and they wanted to make sure the cash was always going to be around and they never enjoyed the money. They wow. died without enjoying it. Yeah. It was left in an attic. The kids find it. What do the kids do? Well, the kids put it into a lockbox in a bank. Long story short, the last kid just passed and guess what's still in the lockbox? Mm. I walked the grandkids over to the bank, you know, they're in their twenties. I said, your parents left this money that was from the grandparents 
and there's a significant amount of cash in here and here it is you know wow. i know where it's at you know so we walked in there they signed it they opened it up they go there's two hundred fifty thousand dollars in here i said i know well what do you want us to do with it spend it <laughs> go enjoy it do yeah. whatever you want well we're just going to put it in our safe guess what's going to happen to that money yeah. it's going to go into the safe they're never going to enjoy it they're never going to put it into a bank because you know you put five thousand dollars in a bank the irs is coming you know what i mean so yep. they're they're just going to sit on that cash and it went three generations. How many decades of years did it go down and no one ever enjoyed it? And yeah. those poor, poor grandparents and parents, they never got to do anything they wanted to do because they never sat and enjoyed it. It was that scarcity mindset. Yeah, the scarcity mindset. I hear you. We're talking with Mark Hay, 21st Century Financial Group, our finance uh, extraordinaire here, financial advisor on the show. And, and I want to go back to something you mentioned, too, is when you talk about that factory job. And, and then you look at today, there's not many people working those types of jobs, the factory jobs, right? So, and I think life in general is the mindset, it's the attitude. We've all heard about that. Uh, but it also comes down to the language that we use, right? So the framing of, oh, I get to versus I have to, right? Because a lot of times, oh, it's I have to go to work or I have to do this. And when you have that mindset going into it, you're in a sense, you are in a scarcity mentality from that from that point. And a lot of life is all about the language that we assign to any value. Like two people can go to the same game or the same concert and walk away with completely different. Oh, that was the best concert ever. Wow, it was amazing. Uh, you know, George, I was thinking about George Strait last year. You know, he did a great job. You know, he's in his 70s. Wow, that was an entertaining concert. The other person comes out. Oh, I didn't really like that. It was too twangy for me or whatever. Right. right? You know, so so I think in, in life, this human experience we have, it's important to to understand that the language that we use to assign to our emotions and the way that we frame everything, that's the, the value of our life. Absolutely. And like you said, like different experience. If you enjoy first class on an airplane, don't let somebody tell you that that's crazy that you spent that, or I can't believe you would spend that kind of money because they don't believe that they need first class. It's not worth it. You don't, yeah, you don't have to live by that. If exactly. you enjoy it, then do it. You yeah. know, that's something that, that you guys take pride in or, or just something that just makes you and your spouse happy, then do that. Mm -hmm. You know, don't worry about, well, this person thinks that, you know, that you shouldn't do it. It's a waste of money. I don't know. I mean, I've flown first class a few times, predominantly as coach. But I'll tell you, that first class is a lot different yeah. than being a coach. Right. You know what I mean? It's and, and, and a luxury once enjoyed becomes a necessity. Yeah. You know, once you start expanding your means, you start going out to finer restaurants and traveling first class and going to be better destinations – you can't go back anymore. And so you want to keep expanding your means. You want to keep growing. Yeah. And that's it's why. Fuel you. Yeah. That's, you got it. And you're going to want to keep that up and you're going to want, you know, you want to. So that's why I say expand your means, invest in yourself. The biggest thing that I ever did was invest in myself. Right. It, it made me the most amount of money. That's right. Investing in my company, in my skill sets, in training. And like, I know you Personal were talking about, you know, Tony Robbins, you took yep. that class. You know, stuff like that helps you. And then we talked about marriage and money last time. Don't stop there. You know, people go get counselors and marriage counselors, you know, just because your business and invest in yourself, you're spending all your money, do the same thing in your marriage, do the same. And everything works if right. you if you invest time and money into that. That's you know right. what I mean? Yeah. So it could be relationships. It could be business. It could be whatever you want. But I will say the changing point is investing in yourself, invest in your business. You'll make way more money than Wall Street or a mutual fund or anything else in this right. world. You know what I mean? Right. Because my cash flow is really what you know what drives everything I do. Yep. You know, now I have enough passive income to pay all the bills without working, but that's why I I can rework and I can relax and I can enjoy it and I can set plans up with people. I don't have any reason not to do the right thing because right. for I mean I enjoy what I do and I built a nice portfolio where I can live the lifestyle exactly. I want to live. Yeah. You know? That's exactly right. All right, Mark, when we come back, I want to touch on, uh, you know, what people can look at because they're, they're, they're hearing a lot of different things in the news, the global, the all this stuff going on. I want to kind of have you give us your oversight, what you're seeing in that. I want to have Mark Hay break it down, 21st Century Financial Group, uh, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And we're going to be right back. Follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one uh, at CQB Show. Follow the show on Instagram as well. Our team does a great job putting out content there. And of course, the YouTube channel. If you subscribe to YouTube, you're going to see all of our videos, 2,500 plus videos there on YouTube and Rumble. We'll be right back here. Consumer Quarterback Show, ConsumerQB.com. Thanks for listening to my daddy's show. Please make sure to send him all of your real estate deals and subscribe to the Consumer Quarterback Show podcast on iTunes and Spotify or check out our YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. To get in touch with Brandon, call 727-263-3707. 
7, online at ConsumerQB.com. And this Prager here for Brandon and Lindsey Rhymes, owners of the Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams. Buying, selling, investing in real estate, their nationwide Keller Williams network makes them the best team to work with. Sellers have your property featured live on air, creating multiple offers. Buyers leverage a unique system that gets your offer accepted, never overlooked. Call or text 813-750-0550. 813-750-0550 or consumerqb.com. I want to give a special thanks to Satellite Phone Store. They just hooked me up with this beautiful satellite phone, and it's a gorgeous phone. It's a great device. It's a safety device as well. Think about it. If you're out on the boat 40, 50 miles out, maybe you're going hunting or you're going hiking in the woods somewhere, you run out of cell phone service, or who knows, maybe a possible terrorist attack. It's not like our politicians aren't entrenched in all this stuff going on overseas, all over the place, all over the world. Could be a terrorist attack. They could attack the power grid. They could attack the cell phones. Who knows what they're going to attack next? Satellite. Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B. Sat for satellite. Sat123.com forward slash R-E-Q-B like real estate quarterback. You're listening to the Consumer Quarterback, Brandon Rhymes, online at ConsumerQB.com. Brandon is Tampa Bay's number one consumer advocate for real estate and financial advice. Call Brandon today at 813-917-1894. All right, we're back here in studio. Brandon Rhymes in studio with Mark Hay, 21st Century Financial Group, talking finance. We're going to talk about the world economy, global economics, uh, shipping woes to threaten the economy as well. This is an article that just came out. I uh, wanted to touch on that. Before we do, just a couple of quick listings from our Platinum MVP team at Keller Williams Realty, top 100 ranked real estate team uh, here in Tampa Bay. $2 billion in sales out of our three local offices with Keller Williams Realty uh, right here in beautiful Tampa Bay and the Gulf Coast region of Florida. Uh, Some great real estate listings here in Tampa Bay, and we'd love to help you uh, with your buying search. Uh, Rio de Janeiro Avenue. Uh, This one's in Punta Gorda. It's 1161 Rio de Janeiro. Uh, We got a beautiful home down here in uh, Charlotte County. Four bedrooms, three bath, 2574 square feet. Got a brand new metal roof. Those those metal roofs last forever. Uh, Great pool home here, screened in patio, spa. Uh, granite countertops, tile flooring, spacious kitchen. Uh, love the palm trees there. It has a nice feel to it. Uh, minutes to downtown Punta Gorda, Port Charlotte as well. Rio de Janeiro Avenue, Punta Gorda, one of our hot listings here in beautiful Tampa Bay. 7300 South Wind Drive, single family home. And this one is in the uh, Sea Ranch area. This is a great opportunity. Sea Pines, that is. Uh, This one's on a canal uh, or close to a canal community where you have this association boat ramp. So you could bring your boat, park your boat in the yard. Tiki bar in the back. Pool screened in Lanai. Uh, Beautiful pool. Large pool there. Three bedrooms, two baths. 1724 square feet. Southwind Drive in Hudson, Florida. And you can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. This is God's country. All right, Mark, there's a lot going on, man, over overseas, geopolitically, of course, a lot of corruption in our uh, government and election system uh, here in Tampa, uh, in, in the United States, that is. Uh, but shipping woes, uh, weeks of shipping disruptions in the Red Sea uh, could start to weigh on the global economy, uh, writes Axios, the tax on commercial vehicle, uh, vessels by the Yemen Houthi militants and forced shippers. So anyways, there's all this stuff going on. How does this kind of thing affect people that are investing in the S&P 500 or through one of your vehicles that you recommend? Yeah, and... and- and we talk about this all the time because this is an election year. And if everybody can just think back four years ago during the last election year, how yeah. crazy that got and how, you know, the rioting and it was just a wild time. And I just think this year is probably going to be the same. I Hopefully agree. not worse, but, you know, probably going to be the same. Similar, yeah. So that being said, you are going to see effects of all this. Mm-hmm. And, and, and when you go to vote, and mm-hmm. I'm not, I don't want to get political, but when you go to vote, Vote for what you believe in as far as what you want to see happen in this country. I don't care about the personality of a of the candidate or if you like them personally. I don't right. care. Right. You know, whoever that is, vote so that we can correct a lot of this. Right. You know, I'm not happy with the border. I'm not happy with wars overseas. I'm not happy with us being in wars. You know, that's something I don't want to see happen. Right. And so I would vote for the person that, hey, I want a secure border. I want peace around the world. I think our military should be improved. That's who I'm voting for. Whoever that candidate is, I'm going to do that. And I yep. encourage people, please leave the emotions out yep. and vote because we do need a lot of work in this country. Yep. You know, And the, so you talk about what happened with the missiles hitting the car, uh, cargo ship. 
you're going to see all that affect you because mm -hmm. that's all goods that are being shipped. And now all of a sudden the goods that are destroyed, there's less of them. So it means the price is going to go up, yep. you know, so it's going to affect all of us. Yeah. And it's not, this is not going to be the last one, you know, it's going to continue on yeah. as long as this war keeps raging it's going to keep going. And we're going to see the effects of that, you know, so Multiple fronts. Now you got Ukraine, you got the middle East, you got all this, you know, covert stuff happening that we don't even hear about. I know, you know? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not privy to a lot of it, but it is an election year and, and we can vote, you know, right. Yeah. You know, and so that's why I can encourage people just we the people. Yeah. Understand what it is you want to see this country, what direction you want to go to and vote for that person. Yeah. I don't care about the party or the person. Vote that's for right. that person. That's going to take it to where you want it to be. That's right. You know, and I don't want to see wars anymore. I don't want to see the border wide open. I don't want to see fentanyl getting in elementary schools. I don't like it. You know, so whoever's up there saying we're not going to let this happen anymore, that's what I'm voting for. Peace st through strength. That's the key word there. Peace through strength and strength. And in uh, latest numbers in real estate, by the way, uh, Pinellas County, we had uh, 1,100, let's see, listings for sale in Pinellas County, residential listings, 1,507 properties available for sale in Pinellas County. Now that's residential, so single family homes, villas, townhomes, et cetera. Uh, 1,507. Now you had 1,217 sell. Uh, and that's going to give you an absorption rate. Well, I'd have to do the math there, but uh, normally it's on the sheet for me. But well, how, how long? How was it last year? This time? That's one month. Uh, well, last year, so the numbers are all skewed um, to a uh, a little bit to um, from one month supply over to closer to two months supply. Yeah. All so right. one point eight month. Uh, so it supply. doubled the supply in the year. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. yeah now we should see interest rates go down this year. That's what I'm hoping. Which which would drive up you know the sales and everything else again. You yeah, know, I think it so. should happen. It should again. Election year does bring some advantageous things, and exactly. I think they're going to bring down the interest rates. Yeah, because it's election year, you know, and it should because it did get high. Yeah, and then you look at the gas. I mean, it seems like gas is coming down slightly, but are they pumping the reserves? That's right. my question. Election year, so how do they get the gas down? You know, exactly. so if the war is going overseas and the gas is going down, where are we getting the gas from? Right. You know, why Strategic is it going under? Reserves. Yeah. So. It's interesting, you know. So we're gonna see it, but but people feel obviously at the pump and everything else and food. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, Mark, the power of compounding is also something that I want people to understand. So when you take a certain amount of money, you invest it into one of these plans that you have. Mark Hay, Twenty First Century Financial Group is who we're talking to. Uh, compounding is such a, a major element, right? Mm -hmm. It's a major element of that retirement plan because you're you're doing it consistently, and then every year that's just compounding, growing, compounding on that bigger number now, mm -hmm. and that's how a lot of people become millionaires by the time to, to uh, yeah, retire. Yeah, so compounding works really, really well after 10 15 years right you know because obviously the money is, is is growing and you're investing it and it takes time and then compounding interest takes over right that's why i like the wealth creation account or overfunded life insurance you still get the same compounding effect you still get the tax deferral you still get all that stuff that you get in a qualified plan like government planning iras 401ks except it stays liquid yeah you know so the major difference is if you can get access to your money mm -hmm. and everybody gets opportunities in their lifetime to make something you know a business or a sale or whatever you want to do but if you can't get access you can't do it yeah and that's why i say keep the money liquid take control of your life and have that compounding effect but at the same time keep that money liquid yeah you know, you, you know the car could break down or whatever you have absolutely and, and that happens and i think it was like 46 or 48 percent of the people have already tapped into 401ks and iras in the last 12 months which is half of the people are spending their retirement account and the, guess what they're doing when they do that they pay a penalty to do that so right. now you gotta pay 10 percent penalty plus you gotta pay the taxes Sometimes you got to pay 30, 40% total just to take out your own money. Yep. Whereas if you could keep it in a liquid asset that does the exact same thing, right. I mean, you're going to win every time. You know, yep. So when I have an opportunity comes, with, let's just use real estate. A real estate opportunity comes, I could take the money out, leverage it, and I can get, make more money than instead of leaving in Wall Street. Mark, hey, 21st Century Financial Group, you got the book and you got the social sites, and where do you want people to connect? Yeah, you can, uh, you can text me anytime you want, 727 804 Seven two two zero. Our website is xxifinancial.com. Awesome, good stuff. And check out the book, uh, book online. Yeah, it's zero uh, zero percent tax for retirement on Amazon.com. Nice. All right, good stuff. Always nice catching up with you, buddy, and uh, appreciate you coming in. The Thank studio. you. Enjoy the rest of your day. My pleasure. Taking a quick break. Coming back, we've got Patrick Furlow coming in. Step by stage interiors. Talk about uh, interior design, the real estate market. We'll dive deeper into market stats as well. Uh, coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Check us out online at consumerqb.com. Check hey, out I'm consumerqb.com. Hey, I'm Ken Shamrock, and you're here with Consumer Quarterback Show. Yeah.